My name is Lucy Shaw, I'm in year 10, and I'm using the AV1 due to long COVID and chronic fatigue. The AV1 is a little robot. It has a camera and a microphone, and it has facial expressions to tell the teacher what you're feeling. You can be confused, you can be happy. It shows emotions without having to talk. It also has a off mode where it turns blue, and that means you don't want to talk, but you're attending the lesson, so the teacher wouldn't ask you questions, so you could just be comfortable listening to the lesson. And this links in with what we did in year seven. Through the AV1, you can also turn your head to follow the teacher around, look at the board and get a better look at it. You can also turn the head to talk to classmates, and you can also raise your hand if you do want to answer a question without having to feel left out. Okay, Avery. Sorry. If you've got any questions, you can have that to your one at home. My name's George Hagen, I'm in year 11 and I wasn't accessing school for a few months due to uh, anxiety. When first using it obviously I was quite nervous about it but it sort of helped me to realise once I did go on to it that lessons weren't actually that bad and that it did help me to integrate back into class. I'm attending school every day due to the everyone. My name's Mark Blenkin, I'm the Deputy Head here in Morsham High School. Safeguarding was one big factor and there was a lot of time sort of just talking really to no isolation, just seeing how things, privacy settings worked. We went through a little cycle of deliberately doing things to test it. So we took screenshots. We'd been told it would turn off, but we didn't believe it. Um, and again, we were really fortunate that it did work, but then also no isolation were very good at then turning it back on for us very quickly as well. The bigger factor is making sure that whilst that kind of link between the AV1 robot and the user is safe, whilst we wanted a parent or family member in the house so that obviously the young person was supported, they weren't in the room. For us as a school, it's a tried and tested method now, it's, it's kind of part and parcel of the school. My kind of view as well, if we get 10 and we've got a couple that aren't used, we could lend them around the trust. Um, I think within a week, uh, we'd, we'd use all 10 and then had a waiting list for them. And it's now meant that we've got a phenomenal resource. Like 20 AV1 robots for one school is, is, is quite special, I think. I think some teachers have been quite resistant to the idea, purely because it's, it's almost like, is it another pair of eyes that's watching us in the classroom? Are parents going to be able to see, you know, what's going on and be able to sort of make criticisms about teaching styles? And very quickly, we've been able to sort of dispel that worry because obviously down to safeguarding, it is only the student that should be accessing um, the lessons from home. I'm Gabby Burton and I am a teacher of history here at Molsham High School um, and I have used the AV robots in several of my lessons for different students with different needs. I think having worked through Covid we've had to adapt as teachers very recently um, so we're quite warm to opening up to new technology however when the robots were introduced it's kind of the fear of the unknown being told that you've kind of got a camera on you the whole time also introducing a really human looking like robot into a class full of teenagers you do get nervous about the reaction to that However, all of those concerns that I had immediately went away. The students have been really responsive to them and actually treat the robot as though it's a human in the classroom. So I kind of just pop over, make sure that they've got all of the resources. And within probably two weeks, it was like we were used to them and it was like a student being sat in the classroom like the rest of them. The AV1 robot is a non-comparable for me, for, for Teams or a, or a streaming. You have to have teams running for the whole class. It's a completely different way of learning. But with the robot, because they can move their heads, they can light up to ask a question. The teacher doesn't have to adapt their teaching. They don't have to have something else running. It is normal practice. Um, and from the student, therefore, they're getting that same environment as though they were in the classroom. My name is Jackie Thomas, I'm the Inclusion Manager at Molsham High, which 
basically means that anybody who can't be included in education in the mainstream way for whatever reason, I try and work a way around that for them to have them as included as possible. We have one base that all of our AV1 robots are stationed in, which is actually in the staff room, so it's a central point in the school. That's where they charge overnight, so all of the AVs are plugged in overnight, and then our LSAs will come in in the morning. They will collect the AV that is assigned to them, prior to the AV1s, there was you know, certainly some issues around persistent absence. I don't think it's specifically a problem to our school. Um, it's as much of a problem for our school as it is for schools generally at the moment. Um, certainly COVID has had an impact on that. So you know, we've got students who have chronic health problems off the back of COVID. We had students who struggled to get back because um, you know, they had to still be shielding for longer than others. Um, you know, if you take young people in a in a really um, kind of delicate time of their brain development in their teenagehood and then you don't have them in school for a long period of time, the anxiety and the mental health concerns that that bring about have made it really, really difficult to get them back. Without doubt now, we have really managed to get on top of that. Um, that was showed really clearly last year with our Year 11s. Um, we had nine Year 11s that we were really concerned we wouldn't be able to get in for their GCSEs, and all nine of them sat every single exam. And I've got no doubt that that was thanks to the support in their learning that they got through using the AV1s. Marsham is a high-performing sick form where students have to attend all lessons to really go on to achieve their full potential. Being able to access learning directly from home using the AV1 robots has really had um, a great impact on our students. Recently, um, a couple of girls have been out of school, uh, more to do with sort of mental health. And for them, they said that the benefit of the robot was that it allowed them to still feel part of the school community. I'm Harvey Farmer, I'm in year 13 and I started using AV1 as I had to go through spinal surgery, which meant that I had to be off school for two weeks. When I logged on, I was surprised by how easy it all was. It allowed me to continue feeling like I was in the lessons, so it meant that I wasn't behind. I didn't have any extra stress with having to worry about missing lessons and having to do extra work when I came back to school and I just felt like I was in the classroom with everyone else. It was really good. I think the academic benefits are huge, but the social benefits as well. Um, the students love actually speaking to the robot and they do treat it like it's one of their friends. And they, the, the brilliant aspect of it is the fact that the robot can communicate like any normal human can. And that student that is behind that robot, they can work in pairs, they can work in groups, they can talk to a learning support assistant, they can talk to a teacher. And that ability to actually communicate and get instant feedback, um, instant social communication is crucial. We know nothing replaces the face-to-face, -the -face, but the next best option, in my experience, has been these robots, and attendance is key. So they could be the brightest student in the classroom, but if their attendance is not where it needs to be, they're always going to fall behind and there's always going to be gaps in their learning. The AV1 supporting reintegration to school, I think, is, is very good from an emotional point of view because a lot of these children are out because of emotional uh, difficulties. And to come from sitting in a room on your own when you're immediately thrown back into this fast-moving environment with the you know, high expectations is, is very, it's a great bridge to, to divide. Now we've got this AV1 which effectively bridges that gap and it enables that better integration back into the school. People know that we have the AV1s, the students expect to see them in the lessons. There's no more kind of guesswork about who's on the other side. The young people just get on with having them in there. And I just think it shows that we really do have a focus here on making sure that every student is included. Every student has a right to have that education. Um, and there are barriers to that for some of these students. And it's about us trying to knock some of those barriers down um, so that they can be included just like everybody else.